Welcome to Shendra's Engineering Tutorials. Yet another important from the playlist measurements and instrumentation. It's something about a differential voltmeter. So the fundamental. Where did that come from? What if we have a resistance like this? We have what if we have a resistance R, and uh, what if we have voltage two voltage drops on either side of the resistance? Like uh, let it be V1 and let it be V2. I1 comes in, coming into existence because of V1 and I2 come in, coming into existence because of V2. So how to write the expression for I1, the current I1, I1 will be equal to V1 minus V2 upon R or else I2 and V2 minus V1 upon R. So under what condition I1 will be 0 when the numerator of this uh, ratio will be 0? Under what condition the numerator will be 0 when both, when both the voltages are equal? When both the voltages are equal, this gets cancelled and that becomes 0. That makes I1 0. Right? This is the basic principle of a differential voltmeter. We are comparing the unknown voltage with the known standard voltage. So what if we have a, other than this resistance, what if we have a null detector in the place of a null detector? It's a null detector having indicating only, we have only one reading. It's a, indicates only zero amperes. So what is the difference between a voltmeter, ammeter and a null detector? Even this is a specially designed PMMC arrangement, which is not, which is not used to measure the flow of current, but which is used to, which is used to detect the presence of current it's, it doesn't measure the current but it it's used to detect the flow of current through this one in this case through this loop right so what if now coming back to the actual picture what if this v1 is a unknown voltage it's a what if this v1 is a unknown DC voltage it's not AC it's a DC voltage and what if on the on the other other side what if we have potentiometer arrangement like this a variable potentiometer in conjunction with the standard DC known source known this is known V2 is a known V1 is a unknown as we move the position of the potentiometer at some particular value we can find we the circuit arrange it's itself in such a way that the pointer the null detector will be indicating its zero position what it says the current through this loop is zero in other words the voltage drop on either side of the null detector is zero more precisely the unknown voltage is equal to the known voltage the unknown voltage is equal to the known voltage and what if uh, what is in this case is r in this case in this case, R is the internal resistance of the basic meter, internal resistance of the null detector. So this is how we make use of uh, this is how we make use of measuring unknown DC voltage in differential voltmeters. Right. On the other hand, what to do for measuring unknown AC AC sources, unknown AC voltages? The unknown AC voltage, AC voltage is fed to a rectifier. rectifier circuit and uh, rectifier circuit and from the rectifier circuit after filtering etc finally the output of a rectifier circuit is a dc right now we are ready to apply this now this is given as input to this one it's a dc from the rectifier and now this is how so use uh, we can make use of measuring dc voltage and ac voltage also making use of a differential voltmeter this is how we make use of a differential voltmeter hope you understood this one a basic measurement technique so if you find this useful please subscribe to shendra's engineering tutorials support me with your valuable share thank you so much